Why did people return to Hiroshima, but not to Chernobyl? Both suffered devastating nuclear events, but the crucial difference lies in what happened after. In 1945, Hiroshima was struck by an atomic bomb. The key difference? It exploded high in the air. This aerial blast meant radiation spread rapidly, but, crucially, much of it dissipated relatively quickly. Many of the most dangerous isotopes, like iodine-131, decayed within weeks. Because of this, the residual radiation levels dropped significantly over a relatively short time. By the 1950s, the city was already rebuilding. Today, Hiroshima is a thriving metropolis, home to over a million people. But the disaster at Chernobyl in 1986 was a different story. The reactor didn't just explode. It caught fire and burned for 10 agonizing days. This wasn't a single, contained blast. The burning core acted like a chimney, releasing a continuous, massive plume of radioactive particles high into the atmosphere. This caused a widespread, heavy fallout of contaminants, settling deep into the surrounding environment. We're talking about dangerous isotopes like cesium-137 and strontium-90, and critically, long-lived elements like plutonium-239, with a half-life of over 24,000 years, were scattered across the landscape. Unlike Hiroshima, this contamination didn't simply dissipate quickly. It settled deep into the soil, the water, and the vegetation, creating a long-term hazard. That's why large parts of the exclusion zone around Chernobyl remain highly contaminated and could stay unsafe for human habitation for thousands of years. And that's why the 30-kilometer exclusion zone still stands today. The radiation in Hiroshima largely faded relatively quickly, allowing for recovery. The contamination from Chernobyl, however, dug in deep and stayed. One city could heal and rebuild. But on the other side, the contaminated zone around Chernobyl may never fully recover within our lifetimes.